Good morning, dear ones. I hope you're having a fabulous day so far. I wanted you to meet someone this morning. This is Ray the Gray. It's my daughter's pandemic kitten. She got him a couple of months ago to help her feel less anxious. And yeah, I mean, it's a girl. She's just been the best little therapy kitten. But they went to the beach, so we get to kitten sit. And that little kitten slept on my head all night long. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't get a whole lot of sleep. I hope you all did. So today, our devotional, we're back in streams in the desert. It's about living by faith, um, just totally trusting God when things appear not to be going the way that you had thought. And it made me think of talking to my younger brother yesterday. He called me. He's living in Missouri. Uh, we grew up in Kansas, and he's had a hard life. We had alcoholic parents, and um, he had some physical abuse, and he's been through some rough marriages that haven't worked out. He's had a lot of illness, a lot of cancer, but he's a survivor, and a year ago, he married this wonderful Christian woman who has just loved him and helped him get the help he needs, both physically and spiritually. And he's been meeting for counseling with this pastor, and the pastor and the wife both said to him, God has a really special plan for your life. And so um, I was asking him yesterday if he thought that was true. And he goes, well, yeah, you know, when we get our bills paid off and when my social security starts and when my health stabilizes and, you know, he just had this list of all these things that had to happen before God could use them. And I just thought, oh, honey, you just need to step out right now and trust that God is going to start using you where you're at. So that's kind of an intro to our devotional today. This is our verse. God calls things that are not as though they were. Romans 4.17. What does this verse verse mean? It is the very reason why Abraham and Hope believed that Abraham would become the father of a child at his advanced age seemed absurd and utterly impossible, yet God called him the father of many nations, Genesis 17:4, long before there was any indication of that fulfillment. And Abraham thought of himself as a father because God had said so. That is genuine faith, believing and declaring what God has said, stepping out on what appears to be thin air and finding solid rock beneath your feet. Therefore, boldly declare what God says you have, and he will accomplish what you believe. You must, however, exhibit genuine faith and trust him with your entire being. We must be willing to live by faith, not hoping or desiring to live any other way. We must be willing to have every light around us extinguished, to have every star in the heavens blotted out, and to live with nothing, nothing encircling us but darkness and danger. Kind of sounds like the days we're living in. Yes, we must be willing to do all of this if God will only leave within our soul an inner radiance from the pure bright light of faith that has kindled. The moment has come when you must jump from your perch of distrust, leaving the nest of supposed safety behind and trusting the wings of faith. You must be like a young bird beginning to test the air with its untried wings. At first, you may feel as though you will fall to the earth. The fledgling may feel the same way, but it does not fall for its wings provide support. Yet, even if its wings do fail, one of its parents will sweep under it rescuing it on strong wings. God will rescue you in the same way. Simply trust him for his right hand sustains. Do you find yourself asking, but am I to step out onto nothing? This is exactly what the bird is seemingly asked to do. Yet we know that air is there and air is not nearly as insubstantial as it seems. And you know that the promises of God are there, and they are certainly not insubstantial at all. Do you, still do you still respond? But it seems so unlikely that my poor, helpless soul would be sustained by such strength. Has God said it will? Do you mean that my tempted, yielding nature, nature will be victorious in the fight? 
Has God said it will? Do you mean that my timid, trembling heart will find peace? Has God said it will? If God has said so, surely you do not want to suggest he has lied. If he has spoken, will he not fulfill it? If he has given you his word, his word of promise, do not question it, but trust it absolutely. You have his promise, and in fact, you even have more. You have him who confidently speaks his word. Yes, I tell you from Luke 12, 5, trust him. So how many of you feel like you're waiting for the pandemic to be over before you can start being who God called you to be? Um, Yeah, it's just whatever he's put in your heart to do, do it. It's like my brother, like I said to him, do it now. You don't have to wait till all your decks are lined up. God is going to be there sustaining you. He doesn't want us to look to getting everything all perfect before we can fulfill his plans and purposes for us. Whatever promises he's given us, we can trust that he will accomplish accomplish it through us as we step out in faith. So let's pray. Dear Lord, we just thank you that in you, your promises are yes and amen. And there's so many promises that you've given to each of us individually, but then the word is just full of promises for all who believe and all who follow Jesus. So I pray that we would be in the word, we would be spending time with you, that we would hear and know those things that we can step out in faith and claim. And Lord, let us declare out loud the things that you have promised. Jesus, you have promised to give us peace that passes all understanding. You've promised to be our help in time of trouble. You promised to be our strong tower and our rock. You've promised to help us in our weakness. Um, uh, you promise that you will not lead us into temptation more than we can bear. So we thank you for those precious promises and more. Give us the courage and the grace to step out and live in them with true faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a wonderful rest of your day.